maybe it's new for you this year to do laundry on your own, and it's quite a task. So you're going to need some dirty clothes, obviously, that'll be easy enough to find. Some money, and you're going to have to have some soap. Of course, you don't want to walk around campus like this, so you've got to do it. Well, you know, Truth For Today by Mrs. B. Laundry 101. What if I told you, instead of using soap to clean your clothes, why don't you take your clothes and stick them in some, some blood? We'll use blood as the soap to wash it. You'd say, like, uh, okay, really? I don't think so. But you know what? When Jesus Christ washes us, he takes all of our filthy rags and he puts them in his blood and he washes them clean. And when you think about it, it's just hard to imagine because we don't think of blood as cleaning. But blood in our bodies cleans us completely. It brings oxygen to every part of our bodies and uses the life blood. But why Jesus Christ's blood? How does that do anything? Well, when we're all born, we're born in Adam. And that's just, we're born in sin. But when Jesus Christ was born, he was born from Mary, mother, but his father was the Holy Spirit. So he's 100% God and 100% man, and he's perfect. So it says in the Bible, it talks about actually, without the washing of sin, or without the blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. And without the washing of regeneration. So we need to be cleansed by Jesus' blood. So this year, when you're doing laundry at school, and you're stuffing it in there, I want you to think of Mel Gibson's movie, where he shows these torturous men torturing Christ on the cross. By his stripes we are healed. It's not by our workout. We're never good enough. It's not even by our money. It's only by Christ's blood. And when he died on the cross and all those terrible things happened to him, he washes us clean. This might hurt, it's not safe.